Hello, a lot of you who use QuickBooks Online do not really see and use and understand the bundles feature inside of QuickBooks Online. It's a great feature to use because you can really create extra value to your customers, uh, improve the amount of profitability that you have in your business because you can combine different products and services together and you can uh, do them in a way where you have the client, your customer, see only what you want them to see. All right, so in order to do this, in order to create a bundle, we want to come here to, uh, to new and come to uh, bundle. And let's say you're, this is a landscaping company. This is the um, uh, sample landscaping company. So we're going to create a design bundle. All right, so we're going to call it Premier Design Bundle, uh, Premier Design Package rather. And inside of this, we can include, of course, the design service and then we can also include let's say uh, the concrete service it could also include like a rock fountain some inventory stuff or inventory items rather all right <clears throat> And then we can also include maybe some hours. All right. Now you have an option here to display the bundle components when printing, uh, that they're sending the transaction, which means this will show up on your forms, like your invoices and your estimates. It'll show up each line inside of the bundle if that's what you want. Or you can have a, a description here and not let them see each line item, but have a, an overall description and overall pricing for that package that you created. All right, you can enter a description here. And for this, we're just gonna call it, you know, this uh, design package with Rock Fountain. Okay, <clears throat> once you do that, you can go ahead and click save and close. Now, uh, when you create a new invoice, you'll see this option come up, or even an estimate, you'll see the option come up inside of your forms. So now that it's completed, you can put your design, put your design package. And this is what um, will show up on your form before you send it to the customer. And inside the components, you can really change this up to increase the amount that you're charging for the design. You can increase <clears throat> the installation amount here too. So you can put, you know, 225 like per hour or whatever it is that you're doing for um, the concrete installation. And of course you have your inventory for your rock fountain. That's going to be the same. And then you have hours here for other labor hours. Okay. Good. Okay. <clears throat> now, when we do this, we can actually check and see. We can you know, print a preview and see exactly what this is going to look like uh, to the customer. And this is all that they see. They don't see any of the uh, sub items inside of the, the package that you created. They can only if you check that box that you want them to see each line item. You can do that still. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. You can do that still um, on your forms. When you go back to your product services, you can actually edit that to make sure that these are visible to your customer. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions about that, leave me a comment.